possible leaks of the two new leadership commanders that will come in Rise of Kingdoms. And one of them is a well-known commander, which you already see it in the background, which is Kusunoki. So you might get the prime Kusunoki as a leadership commander into the game, not as an upgraded version, as an archer commander. So let's talk more in this video because there's definitely a lot of information regarding their skills that you might want to know about. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdom video. This is Legend Ronnie and today I want to talk about the possible two new leadership commanders that will come in Rise of Kingdoms. So I got their skill description as well, which is... A very nice picture done by someone it was shared to me on discord as well by other players so this is definitely not official leaks or this is probably just fantasy someone that had a brilliant mind and was able to put something together something like this and he had great ideas of how this Two new commanders will look like it seems that it says kingdom 1749 so probably they know more about this so one of the commanders is kusunoki and the other commander that presumably might be the next leadership is going to be epaminondas i already searched the wikipedia about these two new commanders because i was really curious to see if they are leadership materials so regarding Kusunoki, his military action was only six years, merely six years, according to Wikipedia. So he didn't have a lot of military campaigns. Considering that he leaded armies, I would say that he is leadership materials, if, even though he did lead it for a very short period. And then our second commander, Epaminondas, he was a Greek general as well which obviously I read a little bit about it. He'd done quite a lot throughout his time, but it was the fourth century before Christ. This was quite a long time ago. So they don't even have a picture about him or at least something that is left to find because I did scroll down uh, and there is <laughs> really no picture about him. It's just these two buttons on the right side which they have his name inscribed on, on the back of one of them. So what is left to do is just go through the skills, to the presumably skills of these two new commanders. So again, this is nothing official, as you see. I'm doing a video regarding this. It's just so I can explain you a little bit how these things goes, because it is better to wait until you have the proper release into the game or when you have the official release or when they post on the Rise of Kingdoms page, that's when we know 100% sure which are the two new commanders. For me personally, the skills look very authentic. So like I said, whoever done this ever either had a very brilliant mind or maybe he knows something. It says on the first skill of Epaminondas, active skills deals direct damage, damage factor of 2000. Now it's very hard for me to believe that he will only do 2000 as the current commanders that are in the game, I would say he should have been around 2300, maybe 2500. Considering that his leadership, he only does on, on a single target damage. And all these newish commanders that have been introduced, they have been very powerful. So 2000 feels very low for me. And if the target is inflicted with a reduced health debuff, troops led by this commander take 30% reduced damage. Now that is definitely a big buff but it's it comes with a condition you need a health debuff on the target so how many commanders do we have that do health debuff there's not that many so it's quite a rare chance in my opinion unless you have a gilgamesh in your army unless you have a cpo in your army unless you have an adolf in your army then you might possibly get enough health debuffs on the target According to this picture, he is also leadership conquering and support, and the second skill seems to be related to conquering. When attacking strongholds and cities, 5% of the dead troops will be severely wounded, and normal attacks gain 15% chance to disable the target damage. This effect can trigger at most of once every 10 seconds. Now, from what I'm understanding, to disable the target damage, means to disable one turn so whatever the the city is doing in one turn 
it, it's it's gonna mean nothing like completely zero pretty much exactly what artemisia does with um, her garrison skills or what else it does with his primary skill like completely disabling a turn of the target at least this is what i'm understanding the third skill troops led by this commander gain 20 percent increased defense and normal attack damage taken reduced by 20 percent outside alliance territory so it comes with a condition the 20 percent defense increase is very nice and the 20 percent normal attack damage reduction that is a pretty huge deal as well it seems that this commander has quite a little bit of defensive options is he gonna be the the best commander to rally cities or stronghold mm, i'm not sure yet what i should say to be honest the 2000 damage factor and so far what i have read does not really sway me into that direction but i do like his third skill though and the second skill looks very interesting to have less dead troops the fourth skill when using a skill troops led by this commander and five allied troops in the circular area gain 50 rage and 20 percent health for three seconds this effect can only trigger at most of once every five seconds now that's again a very very nice buff and that's a nice aoe buff that's something nice to use for the field his skills look really good nothing op nothing out of the usual nothing crazy this is the, the point why i wanted to also do the video and show you the skills because it it looks something very possible that could uh, possibly happen and his fifth skill is a passive skill troops led by this commander deal 10 percent counter attack and normal attack damage it looks like a very very nice uh, conquering commander to be honest and i'm going on to the second commander we have kusunoki which seems to be leadership garrison and skill so instead of being archer garrison and skill his leadership garrison and skill this in theory should be the prime kusunoki if this is ever real the first skill is starting to be very interesting active skills deal direct damage up to five targets in circular shape area <laughs> right we got ysg why not have Kusunoki as well? Damage factor is 1500, which again is very low for all these newish commanders that are being introduced right now into the game, considering that each damage for each additional target is being decreased. So 1000 and also being decreased seems very low to me. But as well as additional damage per second to the targets, damage factor 300 for the next two seconds. So this is the second part which kind of makes it looks more all right because obviously if you're hitting five targets this, this is going to be a uh, with 1500 damage factor it's going to be really low but you have the additional 300 over the next two seconds which makes it more all right going on to the second skill when this commander is leading the garrison of your own city or stronghold all troops gain 20 percent counterattack damage bonus that's very nice that's this is just flat damage increase and then when troops consist of three or more different units types all troops gain 20 percent increased health that's not very hard to do in a garrison when you think about it i mean people were doing with yss the same because in order to to trigger the the yss expertise people had to do a little um, are doing a little bit of mix of troops do you need two of two or more different units types to gain 20% attack and defense. So people were doing like a couple of thousand of something else. Um, 20,000, 50,000 doesn't matter because the, the numbers go lower after that. So majority of the troops are still infantry in a garrison, but with a little bit of a mix. So this is similar that you could potentially do with uh, this Kusunoki if this is going to be true. Passive skills. When troops consist of three or more different unit types, normal attacks have a 15% chance to deal additional damage over time for three seconds, damage factor 500. While damage over time is in effect, the target health reduced by 20% for three seconds. This effect can trigger at most once every five seconds. So on top of the primary skill, you get the third skill as long as you're having mix now this brings in mind um cyrus to be honest because cyrus has a debuff on the target with his primary skill 
that increases the damage taken by the target and we can check right now on his primary skill deals direct damage to the current target and causes them to take 20 percent increase additional damage for three seconds so this could be a nice combination for cyrus and kusunoki but unfortunately kusunoki requires mix and that's kind of a no-go to be honest you can't do mix with cyrus even though you could potentially do mostly archers but you have the archer tree which is quite a lot of um, skills there that just require only archers unless you're doing less archer tree and going more on the skill tree then that could work i'm just trying to to point out like a, a small synergy regarding this all additional damage that um, the commanders are doing and going on to the four skill troops led by this commander take 15 percent less skill damage this is very very nice for garrison upon taking skill damage deals direct damage to the target damage factor 1000 so i do have to say that he has quite a lot of damages and additional damages not a whole lot of defensive options except the 15 percent less skill damage which is again really nice for garrison and then his uh, fifth skill is a passive skill which says troops led by this commander are immune to silence poison and defense reduction well if we think about it nevsky does defense reduction xy does uh, defense reduction as well so it might just be uh, anti nevsky anti xy type of uh, commander to put as a second either to flavius either to zenobia or possibly even second to an artemisia because you are immune to silence so you can get a lot of aoe value that's a little bit of a synergy i would say between artemisia and kusunoki as well with especially that kusunoki brings skill damage reduction a lot of possibilities anyway as a leadership commander if this is ever going to be true there's going to be room for quite a lot of possibilities to put kusunoki as a second in command to all these garrison commanders that we have right now maybe even zenobia as well would be very interesting but again these are just um, two pictures either someone had a, a brilliant imagination a, a brilliant brain or maybe this might be true but take this however you you like it however you want it i just like the idea of the skills like it it seems very realistic when it comes to the skills. something very possible that might just happen but for the real deal, you should always wait for the official release into the game. And that's when you know for sure which commanders we will have exactly. Until next time, this is your boy Jeroni signing off. Peace out, everyone. Take care. See you on the next one. And stay safe out there, my friends.